Meet Esther and Andre. These two swell teenagers are getting ready to go on their first YIG conference. It's in a few days, and they're not quite sure what to pack. No need to sweat, kids. Join me as I help them explore the ins and outs of the youth and government dress code. Ladies first. Let's help Esther slim down her suitcase. She's finished packing for a month-long vacation by the looks of it. Esther, you won't need that many clothes. Why don't you take out a few outfits and show us what you plan to wear? No, no, Esther. You can't wear that to the conference. Let's change some things to find what you can wear. Here, try these on. Now listen close, ladies. Modest is hottest, and we have a classy selection for you. Appropriate attire includes dress pants and a blouse, a business suit, or you can go with a nice knee-length dress or skirt and blouse combo. You look lovely, Esther. Do you think you got the hang of this now? Now hold on. Where did poor Andre go? Don't worry, buddy. I didn't forget about you. Show me what you're planning to wear. Oh no, looks like we have some work to do with you too. Let's get you looking sharp. Trust me, you won't find anybody complaining about how dashing a guy looks when he's dressed up for Yig. Appropriate attire for men includes nice pants and a collared shirt, dress pants, collared shirt, a sweater, and if you have a tie, wear it. Or you could wear a suit. This ensemble includes dress pants, a dress shirt, blazer, dress shoes, and a tie. Maybe even a bow tie. Gee whiz! Looks like Andre and Esther are all ready to go. Now that they know what kind of outfits they can wear, they're going to be looking spiffy at the big conference. Esther's older sister is also coming as an advisor. As a role model for the students, it's important to remember that the dress code also applies to all adults. Yes, yes, they have to obey the rules too. Look at the time. You'd better hurry up. You'll need to make sure that you get checked in on time so that you aren't late. But don't forget that safety comes first, so buckle up on the way and no speeding. The students arrived on time and are all settled in their rooms. Let's check up on them and their friends and see how they're doing. Gee, doesn't everyone look slick? Now remember, there are some things you should never wear at youth and government. Hats, pajamas or sweatpants, clothing with inappropriate slogans or logos, denim of any kind during program time, wear this only during designated evening activities. And during program time, everyone must be wearing dress shoes. This means no tennis shoes, flip-flops, sandals, slippers, or super-duper high heels. Oh, and a few last things. Make sure that you are always wearing your name tag once you step out of your sleeping room. Gentlemen, your shirts must be tucked in, and remember that belts were invented so that pants could stay up on the waist. Your undergarments and the parts they are supposed to be covering should never be showing. That goes for both ladies and gentlemen. Let's remember to always keep it classy. Got the rules, friends? I think you do, too. Follow the YIG dress code at all times, and your conference experience will be swell.